Huge trillion-ton Antarctic iceberg now adrift at sea. A mega iceberg that had broken off from Antarctica is now drifting out to sea. Oh, great. A massive iceberg around the size of Delaware that had broken off from Antarctica is now floating out into the Weddell Sea. Recent satellite photos show the A68 iceberg appearing to move away from the Larsen Sea ice shelf. It's over 2,200 square miles, weighs about a trillion tons, and has a volume twice that of Lake Erie. Experts say the iceberg will break up into smaller pieces and float northeast as it makes its way out into the open waters of the Southern Ocean. Scientists are concerned the smaller pieces could then drift into shipping lanes. Pieces too small to track by satellite could pose major risks to passing ships. Some researchers have said the calving of the iceberg was a normal event and not caused by global warming. <laughs> More worrying news from Antarctica. NASA reports that an iceberg about the size of Delaware split off from Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf between July 10th and July 12th. Scientists warn that the breakoff could trigger new ice cracks and cause even more icebergs to separate from the shelf. Ice shelves are the floating parts of glaciers that act as a support mechanism. In a stable glacier ice shelf system, the glacier's downhill movement is offset by the buoyant force of the water at the ice shelf front. The system is destabilized when warmer temperatures melt both the surface and underside of the ice shelves, and this eventually leads to calving. However, collapsed ice shelves do not directly contribute to sea level rise as they float. Once the ice shelves are calved, the buoyant force that previously offset glacier flow is gone and the glacier can slide into the ocean to rapidly affect sea levels. Experts say the remaining 90% of the Larsen ice shelf is held in place by the Bodden ice rise to the north of the rift and Gipps ice rise to the south. Therefore, the ice shelf is unlikely to collapse in the near term. Iceberg ahead. All eyes are on the ice as an Antarctic ice shelf that's thousands of years old is days away from shedding a massive berg. Cracks on Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf were first noticed in 2010. The rift has grown rapidly since 2016, with only three miles of ice keeping the chunk connected to the main shelf. When it eventually gives way, the resulting iceberg will be one of the largest on record. Estimated to be about 190 meters thick, the iceberg contains enough ice to fill 460 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. The colossal mass of ice won't raise sea levels when it breaks off, but it might make the rest of the shelf less stable, possibly leading it to disintegrate and collapse into the sea. If this happens, some scientists believe an ancient glacier currently being held back by the ice shelf could raise sea levels by about four inches. Scientists say icebergs calving from Antarctica are not terribly uncommon, but they'll be monitoring this one as it drifts from the ice shelf due to its large size. Huge crack threatens Antarctic ice shelf. The effects of global warming have reached even the coldest corners of the world and now threaten to collapse Antarctica's fourth largest ice shelf. The Larsen Sea ice shelf sits on the northernmost part of the Antarctic Peninsula and is slightly smaller than Scotland. The entire area consists of a thick sheet of ice that extends from ice caps on land and floats over deep ocean waters. Warming temperatures have caused cracks to form across Larsen Sea since 2011, with the rift growing 22 kilometers and widening to 350 meters in the past few months. The now 130 kilometer long rift may soon cause about 10% of the ice shelf to break off. The partial loss of Larsen Sea will not itself raise sea levels, but ice being held back by the shelf may flow faster into the sea and contribute to its global rise. Scientists likewise fear that the loss of a huge chunk of ice will render the Larsen Sea ice shelf unstable and cause it to disintegrate, like Larsen's A and B before it. Schoolboy suffers nasty burns from salt and ice challenge. Are you bored? Looking for something moronic to do to spice up your day? Well, you might consider the salt and ice challenge, a craze that's been sweeping the internet for years and leaving doctors dumbfounded by the idiocy of kids these days. Earlier this week, a high school student in Swansea, Wales, gave it a shot and it turned out like this. Yeesh. 
The challenge involves placing salt somewhere on the body and then using an ice cube to press down on the area for as long as possible. Doing this creates a burning sensation as the salt, water and ice combine to create a eutectic frigorific mixture, making the temperature significantly colder than the ice on its own. Once the participant finally gives up, initially they may feel an immediate numbing sensation in the affected area. That's because they've likely experienced nerve damage, resulting from second or third degree burns, similar to frostbite. What fun! The teen's mother published the photo to warn other parents of the dangers of this craze. A noble pursuit, without question. But unfortunately, as these nasty photos will prove, wherever there are kids susceptible to peer pressure and low on brain cells, there's a good bet you might find a pinch of salt and some ice pressed against someone's skin.